We are working around the clock. That was the city of Columbus's director of the Department of Technology in front of city council back on September 9th. He said technology employees are working hard to restore programs following that cyber attack on the city. Well, through a public rec records request, 10TV learned that from July to mid-September of this year, the Department of Technology has worked more than 1,000 hours of overtime. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Yolanda Harris. I'm Andrew Kinsey. 10 TV's Lacey Chris was first to tell you about this cyber attack. Tonight, she continues to put pressure on city leaders about how they're protecting your personal and sensitive information. Both the mayor and the director of the Department of Technology have said employees are working around the clock to restore systems. We wanted to know if that's true. We are working around the clock to bring 441 of the city's applications back online, but this must be done carefully and methodically to ensure our security moving forward. Well, the total cost of this cybersecurity attack won't be known for months, possibly even years. We do know how much the city has spent in overtime for its Department of Technology workers. It's been over two months since the city announced the data breach. Private information from hundreds of thousands of residents was released on the dark web. Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther says he found out about the cybersecurity attack, and on July 18th, he closed off city systems to external communications. Through a public records request, 10TV has learned that from the beginning of July to September 14th, the city has spent $28,000 on overtime for its Department of Technology. We asked for the same time frame from the year before as a comparison. Well, the overtime costs for the department during that time frame last year were higher at nearly $32,000. The number of hours was nearly half the total from this year. According to the city, there were 1,000 overtime hours during this year compared to 561 hours in 2023. A city spokesperson said the reason why the number of overtime hours was higher last year is because the employees working overtime were getting paid more per hour. They also added that not all DOT employees receive overtime. Uh, we reached out to the mayor for an interview today, but he declined. A spokesperson said they will give an update on the cybersecurity attack in the next couple of days. In Columbus, Lacey Crisp, 10 TV News. Now, according to the latest update from the city, 70% of the city's systems have been fully restored and another 7% are partially restored. The mayor's office says the goal here is to restore all systems by the end of October. Tonight, there's still time for you to sign up for that two years of free Experian credit protection. We've got information on how to do that right now on our website, 10tv.com.